interesting topic. We are daily life and we are daily life and we are seeing it in our daily life. So keep your eyes open and your mind vigilant. If you like my video, kindly subscribe for my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. So let's begin with force and pressure. Now what is force? Let's think of few things. What do you, what do, you do to make a football move? And talk for football, talk for football. And what do you do when you try to push your uh, bag? Yes, what we are doing is like these actions like picking, opening and shutting, kicking and all these describe certain tasks. And these tasks, what we are doing like uh, picking it up or stopping a thing, in science, a push or a pull on an object is called force. Do you get it? Yes, a push or a pull on an object is called force. Now, first thing what we realize is whenever we, we apply a force, there has to be an interac interaction. See, in the first slide I am showing, in the first picture I am showing, we are showing a car is standing and a man is standing there. Even if he tries to put his hand in the air and put the force, will he be able to move the car? No. When he will touch it, touch the car and put the force, then he will be able to, excuse me, to move the car. So first thing for force is you need to have interaction. You need to touch the thing on which you are going to apply the force. So uh, and many more other examples are given. Now let's come to the next uh, this thing uh, slide that is force a push or a pull. If two people are forcing a ba uh, first figure, I am uh, explaining difference between the two forces. See, two people, when, if two people are forcing a big bag, they will and they are doing it in the in the same direction, the ba the bag will move. But if two people are forcing, one is forcing in one, in the, uh, one direction and other is forcing in the opposite direction, will there be any movement? No. There can be any movement only if the force of one person is more than another. So that is, the, if the two forces, the push has to be in the same direction if we want to move the force. Now forces applied on an object in the same direction add to one and another. That is the first thing we are seeing. If two people are applying force on the same direction, it, it adds to the uh, force, uh, it adds to the moving of an object. Isn't that uh, true? Do it. We are doing it daily and we are seeing it. If we don't make one from one, then we call two people that let's push it and push it. So this is force and this is one of the law of the force. Force applied on an object in the same direction add to, another, uh, to one another and if two people are forcing in the opposite direction, the thing will move in the direction whose force is more and if the forces are equal, the thing is not going to move. Now you might have seen a child playing and he uh, playing and moving a tire, uh, a tire. We used to also do um, this. So another property of force, force can change the state of motion. So if you are forcing it with more of energy and or if it is on a, uh, on a road which is going down, the uh, for less force and their motion will be more. And if you want to stop it, you can stop it also. So force can change the state of motion. Now we come to our, uh, another uh, property and that is it can change the shape of an object. You might have seen your mother kneading uh, the floor. What she does? She applies force on it and sometimes she make a ball of it, sometimes she makes an oval thing or you, she can make any shape out of it. So force can change the shape of an object. That is also there. Now I can give you something to do in daily life in one day, get up in the morning and try to uh, write it down where we are applying force and what force like it is interaction or is it we are stopping is something or are we changing the shape of something. So let's make a list. It will be very interesting, you know, just try and do it. And once you do it, you will never forget. Contact force. Now what is muscular force? As we all know, the force applied by the muscle is the muscular force. 
Now, this is as we have read that this is when the force, uh, when this is the contact force, that is the two things are in contact with each other and frictional force, the force which is acting opposite to the uh, force applied, that is frictional force. If you rub both the hands, you will see the heat is produced, that is the friction. So, the force responsible for changing the state of motion of object in all the examples given, uh, we, that was frictional force. Now, we come to the next type of forces. Till I was saying that everything has to be in contact, then only we can apply force. Now, we come to non-contact force. The non -con what is non-contact force? The two things are not in contact, but the force is being applied. The first example is magnetic force. You all know when we put a very powerful magnet and, e and put the nails quite far away from the magnet, then to the magnet pulls the uh, nails. That is no, uh, that is non-contact force and so is the ca case with gravitational force. Uh, what is gravitational force? The force applied by the earth, the gravity pull is the gravitational force. In this also, you might have seen all the things which fall down only. Why they are falling down? Because there is a pull by the earth and that is pulling the uh, things down. This is non-contact force. So, magnetic force and gravitational force are the example of non-contact force. Now, we come to next thing and that is pressure. Now, what is pressure? The force acting on a unit area of a surface is called pressure. That is a force when we apply on a unit surface area. Jitna wo lagta hai that usko hum pressure kehte hai. We can see, see that pressure equals to force upon area and on which it is acting. Now, let us see some example and the properties of pressure. The first example we see here is in column we fill the water and at the one other end we put a balloon. In the first example you are seeing if we fill half the, bo half the bottle or half the beaker or half the tube, you see the balloon is also not uh, much in size. But if we put it full, then the balloon also becomes big. So, this proves that pressure exerted by water at the bottom of the container depends on the height of the column. Similarly, in the second example, if we put a T in one of the bottles, we see that again the balloon rises or enlarges. That means that uh, pressure is being exerted on the walls of the container. And now we come to the third and that is atmospheric pressure. Everybody knows that the pressure exerted by the atmosphere is called the atmospheric pressure. And the term atmosphere means the air which is enveloping us, that is the atmosphere. And it is applying pressure on us. And we are also in return, we are also applying pressure on that, on earth. And that is the reason we are in the, in the shape what we are today. Now, you might have seen there are objects which just sticks to you uh, due to pressure. We sometimes sticks a glass also and we sometimes put a paper and we put a glass and it sticks to it. That is due to the atmospheric pressure. So, um, with this I would like to thank you and uh, if you have not understood anything, please put it in the comment box. I am sure I will be able to explain it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.